taken from um, the Emmys, which are on earlier today. And it features a nominee called Cheryl Lee Ralph, who most of you will be familiar with from her recent work in elementary, but many, many other things prior. But I thought this was really touching and kind of spoke about the creative journey and the kind of things that you kind of long for when you're kind of on your journey and what success actually means and what it actually looks like. And I think this is something that I can, can kind of hold dear to where I'm trying to go and the things I'm trying to do. So this is Cheryl Lynn, um, sorry, this is Cheryl Lee Ralph talking to people, um, obviously um, regarding outside the Emmys, regarding some advice that she got from Robert De Niro 20 years ago. I have to tell you this, one day I was shooting a movie with Robert De Niro, the great Robert De Niro, and in between shots, he looked at me and he said, you are great. He said, like, you're like really DGA, damn great actress. <laughs> but Hollywood's not looking for you. They are not looking for the black girl. So you better wave that red flag and let them know you're here because you deserve to be seen. Wow. 30 wow. years later, I am seen yes. with my Emmy go. nomination. <laughs> and thank God I didn't give up on me because it's been a rough climb but it's worth every step i have to tell you and i honestly do think myself included that's the main thing any creative or any person pursuing a career in the arts or in entertainment especially the ones that aren't you know i'm i'm talking about these careers because they're the ones that aren't that um there is no linear path to success it always a bit windy and shit right there's no kind of a bits of advice you can get i think i spoke about reason recently in another video or another kind of podcast where I was talking about getting advice from people when you're in the arts or entertainment industry is a bit useless because everyone's journey is different you just have to kind of stay on the path and just hope and pray that over time you will be rewarded or you will be put into the right places and you can then show out and prove and kind of take your chances with both hands but I think in general most artists myself included the most thing that most of us want, especially when you're in a grind and no one notices you and you don't get any attention and you're kind of just grinding in the background is people to notice. That's the main thing you actually do want. Like the noticing thing is actually the win. And of course, you know, later on, um, what's her name? Um, Cheryl Lee Ralph ended up winning an Emmy for her work in elementary. And I think maybe a couple more later on in the night, but she said clearly the fact that she got nominated was already the win. Because now it kind of solidifies you that you belong in the room, that you are now part of this, you know, um, sacred group of people who have touched and impacted culture to the point where they're celebrating at these kind of rewards. But obviously, once you get in there, human nature, it then kind of makes you feel like that's not enough. You need more. You need to win. You need to meet. If you, can't, if you win one, you have to win two. If you win two, you have to win three, four, five, it goes up and up. But usually when you're starting, when you're just grinding and you're just kind of doing things haphazardly on your own DIY style, all you want is a small victory. You want the ability, especially for me when I was first DJing, the first thing that I kind of was really adamant that I did, especially when I made a decision to kind of step away from trying to play at kind of trendy clubs, I was like, cool, if I can't get to play at trendy clubs, what I want to do is I want the ability to just play every weekend. When I play every weekend, the idea behind it was to make sure that I can play in front of a crowd so I can know what that feels like because I usually, I'm used to playing in like, you know, by myself at home or playing in venues where no one's there. So it's better to play in front of a crowd even if they're not paying attention just so you've got the ability to perform in front of people. I held eye contact to make sure you're having fun, all that good stuff, and just be somewhat professional behind the decks. Um, and obviously, I did that. And then the idea behind that was that once I did that and gained that confidence, that would then allow me to go out and then start pitching myself out to the place that I actually do want to play later on down the line. But I need to have like a core grounding and that meant playing every weekend and that was for me a success that for me felt like i was playing every weekend at panorama bar when i was playing in these pubs and bars i took it seriously i prepared my sets um for the longest time i think maybe for the first six months i never ever played the same set twice always changed it up always downloading new songs listening to new stuff record digging all that good stuff right and in the end it ended up paying dividends because i was getting books all the time people liked me um they liked my company they liked how i treated staff um the vibro brawl you know how good i did my job bloody blah, blah 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 and that was a win but obviously as i started doing it more my kind of um goals aspirations became a bit more lofty and i started to maybe look down on the thing that i had and then just as i was looked down and again think about how the universe works just as i started to look down on the situation that i had covid hit 
and then COVID hit and completely scuppered that entire little gig I had that whole entire opportunities that we usually would have in terms of playing in certain places completely evaporated and now I'm at a point where I don't necessarily play out regularly anymore as much as I did prior because those places where I played out have now maybe moved on and decided to get other people or maybe they thought you know we could just get away with having just a Spotify place and they could do a better job who knows but it's funny how the universe works and it's funny how your kind of um what do you call it your goals and your aspirations change based on the things that you achieve and it can sometimes be a little bit of a of a double edged short you end up achieving something and then it ends up kind of making you want to achieve more but then that could also make you not grateful for the things that you already have achieved so it's great to hear somebody as kind of you know um celebrated well regarded and legendary as cheryl lee ralph say you know for her just to get noticed by the emmys was enough of a win doesn't matter if she wins or doesn't and i think that's the same for me the fact that i'm able to still get some level of attention the stuff that i do is great but the really kind of fundamental thing that i want going forward especially for my dj career is the ability to play in like cool places on the you know for every weekend let's say right in cool clubs and bars and places where people will kind of want to hear me play certain type of music every single weekend everything else will be a bonus doesn't matter if it's high profile low profile mid profile everything else is a bonus so i think in general in life we should kind of keep that sort of mindset in terms of you know what's the bare minimum that will make you happy what's the bare minimum that would be a win what uh, you know especially if you're in it for the love if you're in it for the love it wouldn't really matter because i guess if you aren't in it for the love emmys are important because they're going to boost your profile like to get bigger roles land bigger marketing deals blah 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 but if you're in it for the love you know that just having the ability to be or just just having the possibility that your peers recognize you and want you in that room it's good because it validates your work but it also doesn't change anything you can still go back and continue doing your stuff they did prior so i really really did like that message from cheryl lee ralph